Nigerians who have been worried about the January the 31st deadline to return old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1,000 Naira notes in their possession now have more time to do so. This is because the Central Bank of Nigeria has finally extended the deadline for the exchange of old Naira notes to February the 10th. Governor of the CBN, Godwin Emifili, says that he sought and obtained the approval of President Muhammadu Buhari for the extension. A seven-day grace period beginning from February the 10th to February the 17th was also given. This means Nigerians have till February the 17th to return all, all old notes. Mr. Mefili says the seven-day grace period is in compliance with sections 20, subsection 3, and uh, section 22 of the CBN Act, allowing Nigerians to deposit their old notes at the CBN after the February the 10th deadline when the old currency would have lost its legal tender status. Now, joining us in this uh, studio is uh, CEO of Finance with Mukta, Mukta Mohammed. Good morning. Good morning, thank, thank you. for you. joining us on TVC Breakfast. My pleasure. Good I'm morning. sure this must Good be morning. music to your ears this morning, hearing the extension. I heard it yesterday. Yes, yes. And I, and I was um, shocked with all the noise we've heard and um, that we are not going back. And um, those notes were not available. Mm. Um, on Friday, virtually 90% of the ATM were not dispensing funds. Mm. They were all empty because of CBN fine. CBN were actually threatening the banks that any bank that dispenses old Naira note will be fined one million. Really? So that's why he didn't get those notes in ATMs all around. Interesting. So for him to say he went to seek um, the president, the president approval, and the presidential. Uh, candidate of APC and Governor Ganduji said we went to beg the president. So we don't know who is seeking who approval, who is begging, or whether they were begging the CBN governor. <laughs> and again, it makes more clear of the CBN Act, which says the independence of the CBN. Meaning? Because um, if you say your independence in terms of monetary policy decision, and you're telling us this is a monetary policy decision, and then you should be able to take the bull by the horn and say you've been an extension based on the act that was given to you. But it seems that the CBN governor is always running to Mr. President. Every decision he has to take, Mr. President has to approve before he goes ahead with it. Mm -hmm. um, so where's the independence? That's what I'm asking, where's the independence? Uh, well, he in the, can be fired by the... By who can fire him? He's not the president. Well, the president can only recommend him to be fired. That's the same thing. And then take him to the <laughs> National Assembly to so give him two talks. He's afraid of being fired. So that is what, that is why, that I, is. <laughs> I, I think the CBN have actually not handled the situation professionally well. Okay. Because um, if you've come out with the policy, if you, he gave some of the benefit of those policy, which we have seen, even if we are not so much appreciative of it, we want the rate to come down. Remember, before this policy came to trim, we have the exchange rate about almost hitting 1,000. Yeah. We are now stable at 700 and 750. We are not going, we are not, we are far away from where we are coming from, mm. but we are not where people thought we would be we'll at be. December. I will see that a lot of the monies that were chasing the dollars were not money that were in the banking space. Now he told us that I've returned about 1.7 trillion, and we are still looking for about 900 billion or now. Yes, so we know those who are holding them. He knows those that are holding those one, the 900 billions. So he should tell them to return it. <laughs> He's indirectly telling them that he has given them 10 days grace. Yeah, I like that. the 10 days grace. Are we sure of all of these statistics that is really nice? That's yeah, the challenge. What is the, what is, how does he know? We have an informal economy. Everything is, we, our statistics are based on speculation and all of that. Uh, well, uh, why, why do Nigerians just swallow all the statistics that uh, the CBN is throwing at us? Well, you, you see, they, 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 they print the money. And so when you print your money, when you go to your bank account, you know how much I've left your bank account if you are the owner of the, the account. So definitely they are the ones that print the money. They collaborate with the bank. So in he's talking about the amount of money in print. Mm. which I think he should know, they should know. Yeah, they yeah. should know that, mm. that is the amount of money we print. So mm. that's what he's talking about. Mm. Other data, we can always um, challenge, challenge it. Yes. But now he's saying we've got in social but, but, but it's not as simple as that. The money goes in and out. How do you know the one you printed that is in and the one that you printed that is out? Well, he said yeah, yeah, because because they, he's trying to oversimplify this, uh, this matter for us. We have, we have money that has been out of circulation, 
and they have probably been out of circulation for 10 years. Yes. Well, and I, they have been moving with three certain circles for 10 years. Between Mama, Mama, Mama Oni Mango and Mama Oni Resi. From Mama Oni Resi to a mechanic. A mechanic back to Mama Oni Resi. This money has been going on for many years. How does he know all of that? It will end up in, one day we end up in, in the, the bank. bank. <laughs> because we have the POS terminals and all that. Hey, so when it goes into the bank, the one that lives and the one that comes out. How does it money not explain to me? Because they all have, you see, they all, have, when, when uh, you they all have, they all have, um, uh, uh, yes, what they call it, uh, they, they all have their own numbers. numbers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, when, you see, when you go to the bank, mm. realize that uh, if their bank are printing their bank statement, mm. they tell you a lot of fund liquidity, how much we have, how much mm. we've given out. Mm. I think Van, that those, those data, in terms of how much CBN gave to them in terms of cash, and how this cash are dispensed to customers, whether they find that's why they're able to know that a lot of money are not finding their way into the banking space. But like you rightly pointed out, sometimes it's it sometimes is not as exact as what they are saying. Mm -hmm. Because uh, just this morning I was um, listening to uh, I'm hearing Colin Sundor saying on Twitter that what are we in the diaspora? We still have Naira. Are you not yes. going to create, uh, hey, going to yeah. going to create space and by for the way, us? by yeah. the way, when I traveled, yeah. when I traveled recently, I went I there was I saw I saw there was some Naira in my uh, in my bag. Which I do. So what will happen to those Naira? So I brought they, them back. They, they, but but <laughs> the answer I had for you was that you don't use Naira there, so we cannot create... No, they gave a no. reason for that. They gave a reason for that, especially when they are coming in. The issue with uh, immigration and all of that. I don't want to talk too much about that, but I'm sure we all understand. So he was saying that, are we creating that point? If we can, he said, uh, again, somebody went back, if you can create BBM for them in diaspora to go to a place and do their BBM, you should create where they should also deposit the old well, <laughs> Exactly. Right, right, right. Important. Yeah. So now the, the, the 10 days is what I want us to look at right now. If it is that time frame, although 17, so to speak, uh, because from the 10th, then we have several more days afterwards. Is that enough time to really mop up about 900 billion that you, know, you say is in circulation? You see, what the CBN is... Um, actually concerned about now is to get the Naira notes, the new Naira notes to a lot of Nigerians so that we can have those Naira notes. From what you've seen from the statement from a Mifile, um, you might tell you that we are thinking of mopping up 900 billion, but what, what we are complaining of Nigerians is that we don't see the new Naira notes. We are not complaining that we have the old Naira notes at home. Mm. So we don't see the new Naira notes. Will you be able to provide us with enough of the new Naira notes? Mm. And I can assure you that the, uh, people in the, the people in the rural area do not have up to one billion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't have up to all the rural areas that you don't have up to one billion to to, exactly. to return. So when you have super agents, uh, you have about thirty. I, I remember when I was in the village one day, uh, somebody was just walking on the roadside. This was in those days, the nineteen seventies, when uh, one uh, uh, what do you call it? I think it's, it's, ten, it's, ten, it's ten, 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 ten pence, ten pence. So it's, it was, the, woman, the, the, the man was saying that, or oh, she said, hey, guru. and that was a whole ten pence, nine loss. He was crying on the street. <laughs> I was saying, this, this money means a lot to this. It's like somebody saying that uh, he lost, uh, he's crying on the street because he lost five, five, uh, 500 naira. Mm. And he's shouting, say, a whole 500 now, I don't lose. Mm -hmm. ah. Because he knows and what he's doing. Yeah. It's, like, it. it's like a crisis. Yes. 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 The same yes. thing. Because <laughs> what Nigerians are saying that give us the new Naira note, yeah. we, we legitimately, we have our money we bring into the bank. Mm -hmm. You can't be, I can't go to the bank and I'm depositing the old Naira note. And, and then you I'll tell come me back, goodbye. Then you give me another oh, old Naira yes. note to take back and then I'll come up the tent. I think the problem is, has to do with, CBN is not telling us, but from every information, has to do with logistics. Because it's not just easier. We have about um, 36 states, including Abuja 37. You have various, some, some banks have up to 100 and something branches. Then you, uh, CBN is only located in 37 uh, uh, um, states, I mean, 37, um, I mean, 36 states and Abuja. Then they don't have um, branches in local governments. Mm -hmm. So when this money goes to the money, first of all, move from the CBN, printed from printing, printing me to CBN, then CBN now disposed to various states, and those states now will dispose to various banks. Various banks will not take it to. It's, it's a lot of work, which 10 days 
Will 10 days be enough? Mm. I, I don't think so. But let's wait and see. There's let's a way. Let's but wait but see. how is it that these persons in parties have these monies? People that come to parties to sell monies. How come they you have know, these monies? I, I, seen... saw, I saw one, one video where somebody was just uh, filing uh, the new note. In bundles, so not even in single notes. Mm. In bundles, so just putting it on somebody in a one over one bed party. <laughs> eh? I think that is failure mm. on the security agents. I think uh, we, we, we were, you shouldn't blame the CBN for that because there's a Who law. Who should we blame? There's a law that said you are not supposed to even spray new nerves. You're not spraying no, them. You have to get 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 If you have gotten the money legitimately from the bank and some of us cannot get it, and you have a law that says if you spread it, we are going to hold you. Then from there, we would have been able to know if they are really doing their job. We're able to know who is getting this and who is not getting it. And that brought the fact that CBN said we have enough money in circulation. There's a lot of issues going on behind the scene. Mm -hmm. I think it has gone beyond monetary policy. If it you has watch, gone political. It has gone political. And has, if you want, Mr. President, Mr. President is not talking about the monetary part of it mm -hmm. in all his statements. Mr. President is talking about the political parts of it indirectly yeah. and the security part of him. Nobody's looking at the monetary part of it. It's only the CBN that is telling you that it's a monetary policy too. For Mr. President, I'm sure they were able to convince him because they told him the benefit security-wise yes. and political-wise. Because That's Mr. President has not told yeah. us anything about what, what, what they don't understand. Is, uh, what, what did they say about uh, things fall apart about the birds that fly and those that are stoning it? Eh? These are the politicians. These are the politicians that are not making too much noise about, uh, about money in circulation. It's just to call their yeah. accounts hey, manager. Yeah, they know how to, they, the real people I who are going to it. suffer are the, are the small people. Well, the I, I think yeah. I, 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 when you see politicians making noise, mm. it's going to affect them. Because we know this is, if this thing has happened last year, when there's no election, we won't hear the noise they are making. If, if, if there was no election, they won't do this. They won't policy. make this noise. No, 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 no politicians, politicians are making and are, are making noise because they're saying that they are saying that, as I sure you said, he said the whole idea was to was by fifth columnists to, to do it. They are not the real problem. Is that okay? If you are doing this thing, where is the new money? That's the point. He said, you don't, you are saying that. If you say you are really sincere about this, then you'll be efficient about it. But you say you are going to introduce new money, and the people are not seeing the new money. Mm. You are the only one who, is, who has eyes. We, we, our eyes, are not as privileged as your own to <laughs> see the money. <laughs> eh? Well, I think uh, for me, I think um, the CBN got it all wrong. Where yeah, exactly? I think uh, when he said that they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get their act together. In the sense that you made those announcements, there was no of reason. They say we've involved the National Rotation Agency. Yeah. With, I think from October, you should have been putting policy in place. The super agenda just coming one week to this should have been there since to collect from the rural area. They have and you cannot be saying agents. you cannot be saying part of this uh, uh, process is to do financial inclusion mm. in one hand, and in one hand you are saying super agent should go and collect the money. So where, why are you not telling the rural people that you can take it to the bank? It's part right. of the financial inclusion. You are not just stopping there. You see, the CBN governor, for me, is more or less becoming like a, a media personality. Perhaps it's taking into consideration that there are some areas where you don't have bank presence. Yes, that's exactly presence. what I'm saying, that he's becoming a media person because when we are trying to go with one problem that the CBN has put us into, they come with another one. Are you saying it's becoming vain? Is it's not. It was cashless. Mm. Remember the cashless, or oh, nobody's making noise about it. It has started. Is that is this what it is about? It's part of it mm. because you remember the cash. The, the new the, the redesign note came before the cashless. Ordinarily, you would have told us about the cashless before you tell us about the new design note. Mm. But the new design note came in as we were trying to go up with that. You came with cashless. As we are trying to go up with cashless now, they have come with another one. That is. We are not making noise about it. I'm sure after the redesigning of the note, we start talking about domesticate account mm. that is going to be controlled by CBN. You see, the challenge I have when the legislators were shouting, oh, the CBN governor should be removed. They're talking a lot of things. He has gone beyond his president. 
They've forgotten that this same CBN have gone outside their act for several times. And nobody has called the CBN order, uh, governors to order. Now it is affecting them. They are beginning to call the CBN. This is a CBN that is directly involved in giving of loan. Mm. Nobody has said anything. No, people have been talking. Nobody. But, but, he but, has even been selling rice. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The CBN <laughs> government has directly <laughs> got themselves involved. This is the same CBN that is supposed to be the one issuing license mm. for people to become payment, to, to get payment platform, to create payment card, to create payment channel. Yeah, is the same CBN now wants to become the one to give yeah, license uh, card? has become a competitor. So, a competitor. It's a, a business man. Mm. So yeah. there's a lot of infringement. They asked why we had the independent of the CBN. We didn't want the CBN governor to always run to Mr. President. We want him to sit down in his office and take. You never see the, 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 the governor of uh, the Bank of America running to, um, to, to Biden or, 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 or Trump to tell. We have seen him do so many things. We have seen him need You see the governor. You see him bow before potentates. Hmm. Uh, you see the governor. The chiefs. The governor of, 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 the, of, of the president, remember Donald Trump, was criticizing the governor of the CBN for a policy that he takes that he felt it was not, it was not good. No, the, he didn't owe him any explanation. Right. But we, this CBN governor, in all policies he has taken, he has to get the approval of Mr. President. President. Mm. If he's not getting the approval of Mr. President, remember that the legislature even had a, they had a very strong reason to have called him to order yeah. when he was involved, in, whether it is by chance, whether you knew it or not, but somebody from your village came up to tell us that you have been a card carrying member of a political party mm. and nothing was done. And that's why the politicians are looking at it that it's a personal vendetta. It because lost. they refuse right. you it lost to contest. <laughs> and this, you see, when you know that it has affected the politician, you see, today we are seeing the presidential council of the APC, the presidential council of the PDP, all hailing the extension. Mm. Once it comes to what will benefit the politicians, we don't see APC or PDP or Labour Party. They all come together as one. To but the first, the first of all, I criticized Ashwaju when he talked about the Naira note. Mm. Atiku criticized him. But when he discovered that the, what he said, what Atiku said was not uh, in sync with what was going on with the people, now he changed mind. Yeah, it changed this you see, when you go, when you come <laughs> to Ashwaju crit criticism of the of the CBN governor, I mean, of, of for me, he didn't criticize the CBN. No, he criticized the government. Saboteurs. The government. No, 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 no. He criticized saboteurs. Who are the? You see, I saboteurs remember, in government. I know if you can I remember, I said. said this thing. Yes. He said, when a situation persists more than forty-eight hours, hmm. that means that the late Sani Abacha. That means there is somebody in the seat of power that is involved. Mm. Yes, who is that person in the seat of power? Mr. That's President the should be able to cover They might not know. Remember, no, the, no. remember like the case of uh, Emefile. DSS was going after him, yeah. and, and uh, the president was smiling with him <laughs> at the same time. So that's, that tells you that, that, shows, that, no, that, no, that, that sometimes it, there, are, there are shadowy groups mm. inside, the, inside the government that the president is not... Is For not, me, that, was, that, was, that, that was a slap on the president because... When the president was commending the CBN governor for the redesigning, praising him, remember, any time the yeah. president goes to Dora, the CBN governor will go, go to Dora to brief him. Yeah. And Mr. President always come out to praise his economic policy mm -hmm. for what, why Nigeria is where it is today. It's based on his economic policy, otherwise it would have been worse off. Mr. President always said that. Now, the DSS was working, thinking they, were, they even used ESCC. And ESCC came out and denied that they are in knowing of all these things. So at this point, we begin to ask ourselves, who is the DSS supposed to report to? to or, and you went to, 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 to the court, already had a court, if not for the uh, judge. You uh, would have been arrested. And exactly. that means Mr. President would not have known and that the CBN, the CBN man, governor had been the arrested. The man was at war. <laughs> <laughs> so it shows that there's no coordination. Now, we have seen this happen. Mm. Remember, I always that was what Ashwadu was pointing to. I remember the issue <laughs> of Abike Dabiri and the minister, the minister for Communication. You are a, a parastator have a a, 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 blo a, a, pla I mean, a block in your in your in your building. He was eje ejected from that building, yes, and yet yes. from, from the same government official. So yes. definitely, there's a lot of um, um, instability within the government. He was talking about the fuel scarcity. Mm -hmm. This is a country whereby we see a snake, yeah, and this is the snake. We have three of us can come together and kill that snake. 
we will both sit down and begin to look for a committee to set up that will look to how we can kill, kill the, the snake, snake. Mm. either by chemical or by getting local hunters <laughs> or whatever. Because now the first situation is we are no, we no, have before a 14... we get the committee, before you go to local hunters, you have to decide who will be in that committee. <laughs> why, yeah. why, what is the constitution of that committee? Then there will be another track. Where is he from? What is the qualification? We are so not setting up. to court to find out whether the person is qualified to be in that committee. The snake... <laughs> It don't bump you keep on the egg. 14, 14 man panel, 14 man committee to look on the scarcity of petroleum products. Yeah. Don't be surprised. CBN itself has even said we have sent our directors, we have sent our deputy directors, we have sent an arrow, we are yes. even employing hard old staffs yes. to go to the rural area. Yes. Now, what most people are not looking about, talking about, is the cost of sending your director, sending out old cows. Oh, it's money nobody, for the boys. Nobody, it's money it's, for the boys. Nobody's saying looking oh, at that. It's money so for it's the boys. an expensive project. Right. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I think the CBN is capitalizing. We have a president that is more and more interested in the security and political side, not looking at the economic side of issues within us. Mm. So, so where does this leave us, actually, as it stands now? Um, we, have, we have an extension which some persons are not satisfied with. You're saying it is more, very expensive, uh, a project we are embarking on. But at the end of the day, where does this really leave us? Look, economically, economically, when, you, economically yeah. when you look at the policies, like I said, you see one of the two fight inflation is reduction in liquidity in the system. And so for you to know that, for you to reduce liquidity, you must know how much liquidity you have in the system. Now, if a CBM is printing two point something trillion, hmm. and out of the two, two point something trillion, you have about 80% of it outside the banking space. How do you fight inflation? You know, yeah, the GBM has been coming with a lot of statistics. It has not told us how much it has released. Let so, it tell us, let us, we have released two point something trillion new notes into the market. Into the they have not told us that. Yes. Well, now, the question is that, how do we believe the CBN on other things they have been saying, all those statistics, when the one that we are supposed to see, we cannot see? Eh? But again, like you said, it's, it's <laughs> all about, um, for me, I think it's all about subotrans also, because uh, if you remember, when the CBN governor have refused to appear before the House. Who is the saboteur? If it's not, is the CBN, is the CBN not part of the <laughs> So the CBN governor have refused to appear before, in the, before the, the House. house. Yeah. He sent the deputy governor, Asha Ahmed. She said, she said she won't want to give a categorical statement. She said about 500 million mm. of those copies, of those new notes have been, they've ordered about 500 million. Mm. He didn't give us whether 100 naira was so, so yeah, I mean, she didn't 200. Give she said because she doesn't want to go into Pacific because she doesn't have those details. Hmm. How is it possible that she wouldn't have the details? So it shows a lot of uh, complicity on the side of CBN. Hmm. But again, I think um, when you see, I told someone, I said, when you see the bank sending you a message and telling you we are available to receive your new notes and they are not telling you that. You can, I mean, your old note, they are not telling you that we we'll give you a new note. That tells you that the pressure is not from the bank. The pressure is from the regulator. So, like the question I asked earlier, I want you to quickly to wrap up. This, okay. Uh, so, you look second. at that one, it's a multi policy tool. Mm. You control, you use it to control. That's why you need to know how much liquidity. CBN is saying now we are looking for 900 billion. Fantastic. From, from 2.7 trillion, we are just looking for 900 billion. We have mm. got 1.7 trillion. So we could say, okay, fine. Is that he said that was the reason that was attributed to the um, um, reduction in inflation that we saw in yeah. the month of January, especially when you have the festivity period. We have talked about the exchange rate. We have seen a relative stability, especially in the parallel market. We've seen from seven, seven ten, seven fifty, seven forty, even if it's also you could see that that is working. But what was the exchange rate before the policy? The exchange rate before the policy, I think, was about six hundred. Uh -huh. So, what is the what is the what is the most what is the most no, was, no it was before the policy that. it was about seven hundred and something yeah. no it was about six hundred no, no, no when that was no you know late six hundred no you know when I said that the policy when the policy came uh, we're thinking we hit nine hundred I mean one thousand yeah. it yeah. actually came at the point it got to six eighty mm. yeah. yes it got to six eighty after that policy. When, at that time, what happened? Right. The EFCC was involved, also going after <laughs> people that um, brewed the change, and all of them went under. So definitely that shows you that 
there's a lot of money, like yes. he but said, but the illicit money. We, we, we have to wrap up this section now <laughs> because of time. We must wrap up this now. Uh, CEO Finance with Mukhtar Makram Mohammed, thank you for your time. My on pleasure. The program.